In this video, we'll demonstrate how to install your initial Unleashed network. As a note, the first access point that is installed will become the master Unleashed access point. First, connect your AP to your network switch using its Ethernet port. If your switch provides power over Ethernet, then you will not have to use a DC power adapter on the access point. When the access point boots up, it will automatically broadcast an SSID called configure.me with the last six hex digits of the AP's MAC address. Go ahead and connect to this SSID. Next, open a browser and type unleashed.ruckuswireless.com. You'll get a warning that the connection is not private. This may look a little different depending upon which browser you're using, but in this case, I'm using Chrome, so I'll go ahead and disregard this notice and click on Advanced, and then proceed to the website. The first screen will allow us to create a new Unleashed network. There are several options on this menu, but for this demonstration, we'll just demonstrate how to create a new Unleashed network, so we'll go ahead and hit Start. You'll get a message saying, Configuring Unleashed Master. It may take a few minutes. And it says, warning, do not power off or reboot the AP and do not refresh your browser or hit the browser's back button. This will create the Unleashed Master access point and it will take about 90 seconds. Once the master is created, you'll get the following message saying, Unleashed Master is now configured. Please ensure that you're still connected to the SSID configure.me, then click Next. So let's make sure that we're still connected to it. So we're still connected to that network. Then we're going to click Next. So after you reconnect, you'll come to the first of several setup pages of the Unleashed Setup Wizard. The first Setup Wizard menu is the General Information page. Here, you'll enter a system name and a country code. So for our example, we're going to type in the name of our coffee shop. Fresno underscore coffee. And you'll notice here it says the name of your system is 32 characters max using alphanumeric characters excluding spaces. So I can't use a space, so I put the underscore. Then you have the country code. In this case, we picked the United States. But as you can see, there are numerous countries depending upon what country you're located in. So we'll leave it at the United States and click Next. The next screen is the Management IP page. The default is to enable the local DHCP server, such as a local router that is set up to distribute DHCP addresses. But if you had a specific DHCP server, you would enable the static or the manual mode. The manual option also needs to be chosen if the Unleashed Master needs to act as a DHCP server as well. Otherwise, simply leave it to the default option being dynamic that DHCP assigns. So we'll leave it at dynamic and click next. The next page is our wireless LAN. So here we're going to set up our first wireless LAN. And in this case, I'm going to call it Fresno underscore coffee underscore U2. I'm going to give it a password. We have the option of putting in a WPA password or no password, since a password is recommended. And since I want to demonstrate this, I'll put in a simple password. But in your case, you should be using a very complicated one so nobody can hack into your network. Note down here it says more wireless LANs can be created after this setup. So what you're going to find out is that once you've logged into your Unleashed portal, you'll be able to set up additional wireless LANs. So we'll go ahead and click Next. The next screen is our administration portal setup. This is the web portal page you will come to for logging into the Unleashed network once it's been configured. So we have an admin username. I'm going to keep that the same, but you can change that to anything you want. And it says the username and the following password will permit admin access to the web interface after the setup is done. We're going to give it a password. And then it's going to ask you to confirm the password. And then we hit Next. So you'll notice if the passwords don't match, it's going to tell you that. So we'll redo this, and we'll give it one more shot. There we go. Next is the review page. This is to review the information before you click Finish to configure. So we have our system name, which is Fresno underscore coffee. We have our country code. The IP mode is dynamic. Gives us the management IP, the wireless LAN. Our setup wireless LAN is going to be Fresno coffee. The admin username and then a password. Now it's advisable at this point to go ahead and click on show the password just to make sure that you remember what it is so that when you actually log in you'll be able to get into the admin portal. So we'll go ahead and unclick that and we'll select finish. Then you're going to get a notice. It says the Unleashed will restart after you click OK and this will take a few minutes. Do you want to continue? So we'll go ahead and click OK. 
Now it says configuring system settings and rebooting and it may take a few minutes. Actually this will take about five minutes. So you get a warning here that says do not power off or reboot the access point and do not refresh your browser or hit the browser's back button. After the AP finishes configuring and rebooting, you're going to get this message saying, Congratulations, Unleashed Master is now configured. Well, what should I do next? So it says, Connect to the Fresno underscore coffee under U2 SSID, which remember, this was the first SSID that we set up, and then log in to unleash.ruckuswireless.com to manage. There's a note at the bottom that says, Deploy additional Unleashed member APs by simply connecting an Ethernet cable and ensure APs are powered on. So from this point on, once I click Finish, as I add additional Unleashed APs, I won't have to go through this process again. So we'll make sure we're connected to the SSID that we just created. There we see it, Fresno underscore coffee underscore U2. We're going to connect to it, so we'll give it a few seconds, and then we'll go ahead and click Finish. And there you have it. Now we're ready to log into our admin portal. So we'll type our username, if you remember that was admin, and the password, click on Unleashed, and there you have it. We are now logged into the Ruckus Unleashed dashboard. We have a separate video just covering an overview of the dashboard itself.